Hi, uh, I'm Lee Paul. Um, it's nice to see everyone here. Or, well, rather, it would be nice to see everyone here if you're in a uh, physical location. Um, I'm secretary of the X.org Foundation, and uh, this is our presentation uh, detailing the state of X.org this year. So first, I'd like to give a very special thanks to Intel and all of our conference organizers, uh, conference organizers who's help, who helped run this. Um, it's been a lot of hard work and we wouldn't have been able to do this without them. So uh, thank you all for being such a huge help in running this conference. Uh, so sponsors, we had about 10 sponsors this year. Um, unfortunately, uh, we didn't have any travel grants and this was mostly due to COVID-19. Um, so, well, you know, since we don't actually have a physical location. Um, and of course, thanks to Manassi for doing all the invoicing for all of our sponsors. Um, great work there. And of course, thank you, Daniel Vetter, for doing all of the sponsor hunting. Super appreciated. So uh, this year we got about 35 talks compared to 33 from last year. Um, actually, that's wrong. Uh, it should be technically 36 talks since we got one lightning talk uh, just today. Um, so we had 21 full slot talks, seven half slot talks, five lightning talks, and three workshops. Um, so big thanks to Samuel and the rest of the papers committee for reviewing all of the presentations. Um, had a lot of cool stuff going on this year and hope to see a bunch of cool stuff going on next year as well. Uh, so XDC 2022 um, RFP process. Uh, this is also a little bit out of date because we already had a proposal actually um, that was approved. Uh, but if you are still interested in trying to send an RFP, um, feel free. Uh, so sponsors welcome, of course. Um, and I've got a link to the uh, sponsorship levels right there and how to get involved. Um, we're still not sure if it is going to be virtual, unfortunately. Um, we would like to hope it's going to be physical, and I think that's likely. But of course, it's all going to turn out on how things end up being when the time comes around. So new things. Um, one of the things that we're currently working on is uh, plans to allow driver maintainer access to non-redistributable game traces for usage in testing and debugging. Um, also, we get, I'll have to check that message after. Oh, yes. OK, yes, I did mention the lightning talk button. Um, anyway. Uh, so plans for allowing core driver maintainers to access non-redistributable game traces for usage in get testing and debugging. Um, we're pretty excited about this because one of the big things with game tracing in general is that we don't necessarily have the ability to redistribute the games that are involved. Um, and our hope with this is that we would be able to have a select group of like core maintainers for various drivers that would be interested who would be able to get access to traces from these non-redistributable distributable games um, for legal means and be able to actually use them in order to help uh, triage various regressions or bugs or that sort of thing that may be very difficult to reproduce otherwise. Um, this, of course, means more stability for games overall, and it's pretty exciting. OK, so x.org slash free desktop org infrastructure updates. I uh, won't go over too much here since Ben already had a uh, full presentation on it. But uh, to reemphasize, we really need volunteers. Um, ben Bentis has done a great amount of work so far, but it's definitely a lot of work actually keeping the CI maintained, and we can use as much help as we get. Um, it's a volunteer position, uh, and anyone is welcome to apply. Uh, and It'd be a huge help if anyone interested could. Um, so, of course, we're making good fi uh, progress financially on that uh, on that subject. Uh, we're down from six thousand dollars a month down to about eight hundred dollars a month down for costs, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And the end goal is to get our hosting costs to zero dollars a month. Hooray! 
Um, we've still got some issues with the cluster being flaky from time to time, but uh, you know it's working pretty well overall. Um, and of course, again, we do need volunteers. Um, and of course, a huge thanks to Equinix Metal for hosting our servers for free. Uh, none of this would have been possible without their help. So uh, freedesktop.org uh, code of conduct transparency report. So we had a lot more reports than previous years. Um, most of them were on GitLab. And I think the reason for this is actually mostly because moderation on GitLab can only really be handled by people with admin access. So I think a lot of this is less a change in actual behavior in the community and more so just now things have to be handled slightly differently with code of conduct. So we see a lot more reports going through GitLab, whereas before they likely would have just been handled on the maintainer's end of things. Um, and it's also worth noting a decent amount of those reports were also just spam bots. Um, so like, you know, just people creating accounts to post spam links, that sort of thing, not any actual conduct violations. Um, so excluding the spam bots, we had two complaints of our current behavior that resulted in bans, and we had four formal complaints resolved with warnings. So uh, Google Summer of Code, uh, endless vacation of code and outreachy. So unfortunately, one of the problems we ran into is the Google Summer of Code changes to the timeline uh, don't allow for anywhere near as much time for working on projects as we used to have. Um, and this pretty much means it's a lot more difficult for us to actually come up with project ideas for students. Um, it's We're still open to project ideas if anyone has any, but uh, yeah, that's mainly the main reason why we haven't been able to be involved this year. Um, additionally, though, we need volunteers to actually help keep these projects running. Um, currently, our administrator uh, from a while ago stepped down. Um, thanks for all of the great work, Trevor, by the way. Uh, they helped run these programs for a number of years and super appreciate it. Um, but now we need a new volunteer. Um, and we are currently looking for an admin to uh, coordinate Xorg's involvement with Google Summer of Code, EVOC, Outreachy, et cetera. Um, and that's really the biggest thing right now. Um, we also need to get project members who are willing to be student mentors. Um, people stepping up to do that would be super appreciated. Um, and of course, like I mentioned before, project ideas. Um, of course, I've included a link to a mailing post that you can find that has more information on this. Um, and I will be uploading the presentation after the talk. So of course, I've included a photo of my cat, Serena. I've done this to get everyone's attention to this slide because she's adorable and you know, why not? Um, so foundation, uh, if you are not already a member of the foundation, please feel free to sign up. Um, it's super encouraged and you get the ability to request phases specification access. Cool. And if you want to do Chronos conformance submissions for your own drivers, you also need to be a member of Xort and we can handle working with Chronos and getting all the things in place for that. Um, and just to emphasize, anyone involved with uh, Xorg or freedesktop.org projects at any point uh, is qualified to be a member. Um, and of course, we've got the links there, uh, members.x.org. So XTC, where will it be hosted? I'm not telling you that. That's a secret. I'm never going to tell. But our next presentation, may, our next presenter may tell you where it is. So if you want my advice, you should probably stay tuned. All right, and it's a pretty short presentation, so I'm done a bit early. Uh, so do we have any Q&A? Uh, 